Hello everyone, welcome to my complete and updated IATO guide. In this video, I'm going to be covering everything you need to know about IATO, breaking down his elemental skill, constellations, artifacts, and weapon choices, and making sure that this is the only guide that you need to watch if you want to build an IATO. Alright, let's get started with the guide. Talents. Okay, his element, uh, sorry, his normal attack is nothing that special. It is just a five rapid strikes with the sword that he uses. Elemental skill, the main part of his kit. It is his stance change, okay? It is a stance change and his attacks get infused with hydro doing AoE hydro damage. Okay, it has a fairly large AoE and it is nothing to laugh at. Okay, he gains resistance to interruptions and he gains additional scaling off of HP. So all those dead rules of HP that you have in your artifact pieces, yes, those will help IRO a lot because of something called the Namison stacks. Okay, he have up, he can have up to four Namison stacks. Okay, this doesn't make him a HP scaling character. Make sure to keep that point in mind because I have seen many people misunderstanding this point and building a tons and tons of HP on him. Those Namison stacks are a extra bonus and nothing uh, major. All right. When you use your elemental skill, a clone is summoned at your original lo location, which will explode if enemies are nearby or after six seconds, doing a separate instance of hydro damage called the water illusion damage that you can see in the skill attributes this elemental skill has a 12 second cooldown with an uptime of six seconds so uh Ayato is going to be doing normal attacks in his elemental skill so any buffs to normal attacks will be a buff to ayato's elemental skill as well okay now ayato's elemental burst it's nothing that big but it is also Nothing that small as well. It's great. On use, it summons a AoE rain swords and buffs normal attacks of characters that in the AoE. Okay, the scaling on these uh, bloom damage, bloom water blade damage, isn't that great, but it is mainly used for the normal attack buff and the hydro applications that it provides you with. Okay, so mainly you want to do your uh, Ayato's burst first and then go uh, into your elemental skill to gain the normal attack damage bonus that it provides you with. This burst has a duration of 18 seconds and a cooldown of 20 seconds and a energy cost of 80. So that's fairly high. Okay, and it has a very high uptime with a 2 seconds, only 2 seconds downtime on it. Ascension 4 passive, okay? So just now I mentioned that uh, his elemental burst is 80 energy cost, but one of his passives that is the Michiyuki Hagetsu. I hope I said that correct. If Kamisato Ayato is not on field, his energy is below 40, he will gain two energy for himself every second. So this uh, neglects the energy recharge that you need to build on him just because of this passive. This ascension passive uh, is also quite helpful because it gives you two Namison stacks just after uh, using your elemental skill. And your water illusion when it explodes, it gives you the, this Namison effect as well. His kit is fairly simple. The only uh, confusing part that some people do is build him with HP because of the Namison stacks that he has. Just wanted to clear that, nothing else, all right? So for talent priorities, you don't want to level up your auto attacks because your skill will give you separate instance of damage. You want to go for your elemental skill first and then your elemental burst. Now, let's talk about artifact sets, okay? Ayaro has a fairly and easy access of artifacts, okay? You can run a four-piece gladiator set or you can run a four-piece echoes set, okay? Echoes is the best of slot for Ayato. 
and if you're farming the blizzard straight domain for a long time i'm pretty sure you might have good heart of depth pieces okay you can run a four piece heart of depth and all these sets that i mentioned the gladiator echoes and heart of depth they have negligible difference between them okay you can run anything and it will work on ayaro okay if you don't have any of the four pieces you can go for a two piece gladiator for the 18% attack or two piece of the 18% attack whichever you have and go for a two piece hydro damage bonus okay so you can ma use a two piece of the attack and two piece hydro damage bonus the heart of depth you can mix and match these uh, to gain the maximum value out of those artifacts okay now for a burst support if you're going to use your ayato only for his burst going for for four piece emblem is a good option okay substats that you need on your artifact sets is fairly simple crit attack and a little bit of er for the sands uh, go for attack person sands not the hp ones goblets uh, hydro damage and hat will be crit rate or crit damage depending upon your stats now if you're going to build a bloom okay bloom ayato four piece flower of lost paradise will be your go-to set okay now let's talk about the weapons that ayato can use okay his best in slot let's get this out of the way his best in slot is haran gepatsu futsu okay if you have this just run this on him okay now there is another weapon that works similar to the Harun Gepatsu Futsu that is the Jade Cutter. It is quite good because of the high crit rate and the HP that it provides. If you don't have the Jade Cutter, you can go for a Mist Splitter as well. That will also work. Okay. Now, if you're unlucky enough and you got the Summit Shaper in your account, use that. It gives you a raw attack for your ayado that can be helpful okay you can also go for a skyward blade for the extra energy recharge if you have none in your substats in the artifacts all right uh the battle pass weapon is also a good option okay you can go for a lion's roar if you're putting your ayato in a taser comp okay the amenoma is also a good option a very free to play friendly option the flute you can use it as a stepping stone you can also use the black cliff one i would not recommend black cliff if you're fighting bosses okay because its passive will be completely useless and you can uh, also use the favonia sword if you are low on energy recharge okay now if you're going to build a bloom ayato weapon that can provide you with elemental mastery is a good option for a bloom team now let's talk about his constellations okay ayato is one of those characters uh, whose c0 is fine and you don't need any of the constellations uh, while uh, Getting any of the constellations would be a good for life type of constellations, but he is a complete character and doesn't have any of the mechanics that uh, are locked behind constellations. All right, he is a complete character. Okay, his C1 will give you extra damage only in a certain situation where the opponent is less than 50% HP. Okay, okay, his C2 will be. Uh, uh, and a good for life quality type of constellation because it increases the Namison stack to 5. Uh, C3 and C5 will be a plus 3 for your talents. C4, okay, when you use your elemental burst, it gives you 15% uh, attacks, normal attack speed for 15 seconds. A good for life quality kind of uh, constellation. And finally, your C7. It gives you 
two extra hit on the first strike of your elemental skill, dealing 450% of Ayato's attack as damage. And both of the strikes that you gain will not be affected by the Namisen star. So those were the constellations. Once again, C0 is fine. He's a complete character as C0. Going for any of the constellations is not required. Okay, so the party comps. Okay, so Ayato is a fairly flexible uh, character and can be placed in different comps. All right. The first comp will be the Taser comp, having Ayato, two Electro characters, and Bennett for the attack buff. If you don't want Bennett, you can also use a Kazuha for the various and Shred and the elemental damage bonus. Okay. You can also run a. Um, vaporize Ayaro as well okay so in vaporize Ayaro you would use uh, Ayaro, Shangling, uh, Bennett and Kazuha or you if you don't have Kazuha you can go for a Sucrose as well okay that will be your vaporize comp now the other comp that you can go for is a freeze comp okay Ayaro will work well in freeze comps as well Okay, that will include Ayato, Ayaka, or if you don't have Ayaka, Ganyu. Ganyu would work well as well. And Sucrose, Venti, or Kazuha, uh, Diana. Okay, these uh, these characters will work well. Now, let me tell you, uh, some people might not be uh, familiar with this, but uh, Yunjin. Anyone remembers Yunjin? Yeah. Yunjin works with uh, Ayaro as well, okay? You can pair Yunjin and Ayaro and uh, do tons of damage. For the other two, you can go, uh, for the other two spots, you can go for Kazuha and Bennett. Those will work well. Now, you can go for Nahida or the Traveler with a Pyro character like Bennett or uh, any character. Ayaro and uh, a flex slot mainly jungle for shielding or uh, anything like that okay this will be the version comp all right there's an other comp called the hyper bloom comp where you can use ayato and raiden shogun together and ayato will create the blooms and raiden shogun will uh, trigger hyper bloom okay the other slot you can go for a uh, Zhongli, Diana for shielding or maybe a healer, okay? Try to go for characters that don't uh, mess up reactions, okay? So like I said, uh, Ayado, Nahida or the Traveler, Raiden with the flex slot will give you Hyper Blue. Ayato, Nahida with a Pyro character like Bennett or Shankling will give you version okay uh, so you want to stack tons of elemental mastery on your shangli okay so yeah that's all for ayato's guide i hope this guide was uh, clear and you were able to understand everything about Ayaro. Ayaro is fairly a easy character to understand unlike Raiden Shogun. So this guide was uh, pretty small and comfortable. And yeah, that's all for this video. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. If you did, liking and subscribing to the channel will be appreciated. That's all for now. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.